Eleven right here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Chippewa County here. And since the last episode here, I went and finished up the harvesting, finished up the uh, baling. Uh, we're also into the next day here. We're day six mid-summer. Finished up uh, cultivating, was it this field? Yeah, this field here, uh, what I call field one. And then also got that replanted in oats. Uh, oh, needs fertilizer yet. Okay. Not sure why that is. It shouldn't need fertilizer because I put fertilizer on it. Then we uh, cultivated it, but oh well. Anyway, and then also I uh, took the uh, plow here, and then I ended up plowing these two fields here together. Again, I want, as I've said before, my plan is I'm going to combine this side of the field here with the grass field. So I got those uh, plowed together. Hopefully, maybe a little later this episode, we'll get a little more work done on that. I can need to put some lime on it, and we'll uh, start working on putting grass on here. Again, I'm going to uh, just you know paint some uh, grass between these two fields, and I'll probably uh yeah I'll probably just like straighten it off through here. I'll probably just like Get rid of that whole section there, and we'll call that uh, good. Like I said, we'll just uh, paint some grass over it. But uh, first things first, I want to pick up these uh, bales here. And we got quite a few of these uh, round bales here. Whoa, that's that's a twenty thousand. I'm making twenty thousand liter bales. Wow. Okay, I did not realize that. I'm not making twenty thousand liter bales, and there's still a lot of bales here. So uh, anyway, I was looking at uh, options for picking these bales up here, and, and I figured the best one to go with here was the uh, Buster's Community uh, Cat Truck here. This is the uh, one that's supposed to handle the uh, John Deere round bales. The uh, John Deere bale that I made, by the way. Well, not really made, but edited, I guess would be the more appropriate terminology for it. So, oh, yes, let's put an RDL logo, John Deere. Oh, yes, got to have that John Deere logo, everyone. Got to have the John Deere logo. Um, I think the motor's fine. I don't think we need to upgrade motor on that. Uh, actually, do we want to... Whatever, I think I'm just going to yeah, buy it. Yeah, we'll, we'll lease it. We'll lease it. $1,700. I'm not sure I'm going to keep it or not. I guess it depends on the future, everyone, how much more we do for uh, round bales. Uh, speaking of round bales, I do want to maybe keep uh, like a handful of them. I don't meant by handful, I guess 20,000 liters a piece, maybe two or three of them. We don't need to be keeping very many, that's for sure. So hopefully these uh, sell well. We'll find out. Ooh, laggy. Boy, okay, there we go. What that lag was about. That was kind of weird. And it's laggy again. What? Uh... Wow. 7 FPS. There we go. Okay, um... That is weird. Not sure what's up with that here. I'm on something. Uh, I don't know. That oh, seems to be fine now. Okay, that's good. Let's check. I wonder if uh, I wonder if I had a bale trailer that exploded in here. Yep, don't look like it. Looks like it's still loaded yet. Or no, maybe is it loaded or did it explode? No, I think they're loaded. Okay. I forgot to uh, have those in the auto load trailer overnight, everyone, and those bales did indeed start to decay. They were, what, 1,500 liters apiece? They are now 1,400 liters apiece. So, yes, everyone, just uh, one night there, one overnight. I forgot to leave them in the auto load trailer, and yes, they did start to decay, even inside the building there. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I got to make sure, everyone, I keep those in the auto load trailer if I don't want them to uh, decay. Uh, again, the auto load trailer, it's kind of like a sneaky little trick there to keep your bales safe from uh, Seasons Mod. Because uh, Seasons Mod there will not be able to t detect the bales if they're auto loaded. Now, if they're just in the trailer not auto loaded, it will be able to detect them, everyone. And uh, yeah, they're, they're going to start decaying. Why is, why is that? Oh, okay. That's interesting. Watch what button you push there, I guess. Anyway, uh, this, of course, is auto-load, by the way, in case I didn't mention that. Uh, so let's see what's your auto-load. Resize excavator tracks. Huh. I'm pad plus, huh? What, what, what does that do? ETP reverse excavator tracks direction. I have not seen that before. That's a new one. I don't think I have any new mods, do I? I don't know. Maybe I do. Uh, anyway, operating position. Hide help for excavators track position. I don't know if that's for this truck or what that is. I'm not sure. I don't know, everyone. I don't know. Anyway. Auto load's working. Cool. Again, this truck, like I said, everyone, is designed specifically to pick up the round bales here from that John Deere round baler. Again, the John Deere round baler, everyone, makes a 1.8 meter bale, at least the one I have. So it's uh, twice. Yeah, well, instead of 1.3, it's 1.8. So, yeah, a little bit bigger than the uh, standard in-game bale there, which is... Four feet. This is 1.8, which is uh, 
which is supposed to be six feet. I think that's six feet, if I remember correctly. Six foot bail. And this truck holds, was it 14 of them? I think it's full. Yes, 14 of them. Okay. So anyway, back to the cell point here. Wow, we're going to have to drive in. Let's see what's here. If we can sneak through these trees here, I want to be a lot quicker. A lot quicker. There we go. Yeah, we just need to get up on this uh, road here, which I don't know. Is there a path across here? I don't think there is. Uh, all the crops we got off these fields, by the way, just went into storage. So into uh, storage with those crops. Speaking of which, I forgot to uh, bring the horses. Oats, oh, didn't I? We'll have to do that as well. I was uh, checking the animals here before I started recording just to see once how they were doing. It looks like they're all doing pretty good. But I just remembered that the horses do not have oats yet, and we did harvest oats. Uh, we could, if we wanted to, everyone throw a trailer behind this as well. And as long as we had an auto-load trailer that would pick up the 1.8 meter bales, uh, we could auto-load even more. I know most of the uh, trailers, everyone, that have the actual auto-load script on them will pick up these bales. Uh, it might get a little iffy if you uh, start using some of the uh, trailers that use the in-game scripts to load the bales. Which, as far as I know, I think this is still using the in-game script, everyone. It's just loading 1.8 meter bales, as far as I know. Okay, let's see what's here. Abort unloading. Nope, we want to actually unload. Unload bales here? It's like, that's, yeah, that should be right here, then. Wait. Uh, let's see what's here. That's almost uh, $30,000 for that. And you know what? I can back up here with this truck. Whoa. It'll back up anyway. Rather than trying to go through the ditch with it. That's not bad. Not bad. $30,000 there. I'd be curious to know if we make more, you know, with more square bales or if we make more from the round bales. I, I would assume everyone would be the same, I would think. Which, uh, by the way, uh, someone left a comment here a couple episodes or episode or so back. I uh, mentioned the reason the uh, sell price in the menu, everyone, for like straw, grass, and hay and all that stuff is zero. That's because if you bring loose straw, loose grass, anything like that to the sell point, everyone, it is zero. You do not make any money with Seasons Mod if you're selling loose material, apparently. That's what I've been told anyway. Uh, so that that's kind of actually cool. Uh, so in order to make money from like straw and grass and... Well, actually, I actually don't know if grass is still worth anything. Not sure on that. Move that back in. I just noticed it was hanging off the back there a little bit. There we go. So yeah, you actually have to bail the material. So that's actually pretty cool. I like that uh, feature there, Seasons Mod. And we got all bales on this field as well, by the way. I did uh, bail this too, so we got a couple loads of bales here. I'm not sure. Like I said, these are 20,000 liters too. Those are some big bales. Okay, and then auto load. Oh, we need to lower the loading platform, and then operating position again. Uh, again, because this is using, I'm assuming, the in-game script, everyone, that's why you have a couple of the extra key presses there to uh, lower the loading platform. Even though the loading, the loading, lowering the loading platform doesn't actually lower it. That's just uh, the way it is with this. And also with this uh, particular truck, uh, it is available on the Buster's Facebook page, by the way. So if you want this one, it is available over there. You can get that truck as well as all the other auto load uh, bail loaders there as well. Uh, but with this truck, it only offloads onto the right side of the truck there. And I was kind of asking Nolan the why that was. Uh, and it's not because he can't offload to the left side. He can very well do that as well. But the reason he did it that way is so you actually have a stop to reset the uh, loading position to. So that way it only goes to one side again you could if you went left or right then you want uh well you'd have to play around a little bit to get it back to the center everyone to get the actual you know loading position back on center there so that is the uh, reason for that and we are full on bales again yeah it only holds 14 so it fills up quick like it probably could almost squeeze another one yeah, yeah it'd be a little short 
need just a little bit longer flatbed on the back, and we can actually squeeze four more on there probably, but oh well. It's paying good money. Uh, there is a small square bale version of this as well. So if you want to load small square bales with this truck, you can do that too. I think that one holds like 300 some odd bales or something like that. It's a lot. It holds a lot of small square bales. And just a reminder here, too, by the way, everyone, if you'd like to uh, join us on the RDL and multiplayer farming simulator servers, again, that information is down below in the description there. Anyone is welcome to join as long as you can play nicely and follow the rules. Again, we just ask that you please join us on our TeamSpeak server there. Uh, again, TeamSpeak is the uh, voice chat there, by the way, which a microphone is not required, by the way. So you can join even if you don't have a microphone. And uh, by the way, again, TeamSpeak is free to download if you don't already have it. And we do have all the download links for the mods in TeamSpeak. And, of course, uh, if you're a little bit confused about that at all, just, uh, like I said, join us on TeamSpeak. We'll be glad to try to help you out. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be sure to uh, lead you in the wrong, I mean, in the right uh, direction. I can go $29,794. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to take a couple loads here. I was hoping to get some other stuff here this episode as well, but uh, I don't know. This uh, might take us a while to load these bales. Okay, back to the fields. So I think there was a couple more bales left on that field yet. And then we got the field that's by the shop there. Oh, I, okay, everyone, I just looked down and I realized there are excavator. Well, why is there an excavator? I did not see that before. Why is there an excavator symbol down there? What in the world is that from? I have no idea, everyone. I don't know what that is from. I'm trying to think what mods I've added now. Uh, I know over the weekend there, everyone, uh, with the uh, server, which, by the way, on the uh, multiplayer servers or on server 3, everyone, we did start a new map. We're now on Seneca County. Uh, Seneca County on the server 3 there. Again, server 3 is typically the uh, server I play on. So yes, again, if you watch the uh, live streams there, again, RDL and on Twitch, if you're not. I uh, started that here this uh, past Sunday. And along with that, we did update some mods, added some new mods to the server most. I don't think I really myself added a whole lot of new mods, maybe a couple. Uh, updated all the uh, Busters mods. So all the Busters mods here should be the most latest, greatest versions Except for the John Deere 2410 Cultivator. <laughs> I know uh, Nolan updated that over the weekend, so that one's uh, no longer the most up-to-date. But all the rest of the mods should be more or less updated. Ooh, speaking of Buster's mods, by the way, uh, Nolan added another uh, truck option as well that will be coming out here in a few days, hopefully. And that is a tanker version of his new uh, BCG truck. So I think I've got that activated. Let's see what's here. I haven't actually uh, used it yet. You do I not have? Oh, okay. Maybe I don't have it active. I know I downloaded it. I must not have activated it, though. Oh, well. I will have to remember to do that. But anyway, yeah, it's basically this cat truck. Everyone, just the BCG brand of the truck. And uh, like I said, he put a tanker on the back. I think that's uh, something I suggested uh, a while back. Uh, it was a tanker. And then I know, I think it was Jim, if I remember correctly, he actually sent me a tanker pack that will actually mount on the fifth wheel plate as well. So we got that option, too. Currently, though, with the uh, water situation on this map, everyone, I really don't have a use for tankers anymore, so. Okay, that should do it for that field. Sneak through the trees here, and we'll pick up the bales on this field. Watch out. Uh, by the way, once we're done here, too, everyone, I'm going to be deleting the back portion, this portion of the field right here. Uh, like I said, just causes too much problems with course, but we're just going to get rid of it. You know, everyone, sometimes it's easier just to get rid of a little bit of a field than it is to try to uh, maximize the field and just use every last square inch. Just, you know, get rid of a little bit, and, and it'll make uh, hired workers' course play so much happier. And we got a lot of bales on this field, too. Nice. Nice.
Okay, and we'll uh, read a few uh, comments here in a moment. Uh, Dwight was saying uh, the real leaner S9 series used the Fent cab. Uh, the new Massey Ferguson Agco combines have the same cab now. Okay. All the new Massey Ferguson all Agco combines have the same cab. So it actually uh, it would make sense that that Gleaner actually would have the uh, Agco, Fent, Massey Ferguson, whatever brand you want to go with there, ideal combine cab. That would actually kind of sort of make sense, although it's probably, of course, on the Gleaner then wasn't that. But uh, still, like I said, makes some sense to actually put that cab on there, I suppose. Well, where we're going here. Got to say, this is a uh, fun truck to drive. With the uh, flatbed on the back. Uh, Wendy was saying, if you ever buy the large Vodderstad Cedar... Uh, put it on a large John Deere tractor besides the Big Bud 747 because Big Bud tractors are not designed for that because they don't have the hydraulics. Eh, well, that's uh, that's easily fixable. You can always put the hydraulics on those tractors then, I'm assuming. Need a bigger pump. And besides, if you watch uh, Welker Farm videos, they essentially, well, it's not a Vodderstad cedar. I forget what brand theirs are again. Case? Uh, whatever brands are, theirs is again. They're essentially air seeders, so they're using air seeders on their big buds. Uh, Jim was saying, really nice video. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much for that. Uh, he also says, thanks for releasing the version, the fixed version of the John Deere 6000 sprayer. Huge improvement over what it was originally. Now we can actually put it to use. Uh, you did a great job fixing it. Well, hey, thank you very much for that as well, which is a reminder there, by the way. Gonna mention that earlier. If you want the John Deere 6000 sprayer that I fixed, everyone, I did release that on my Facebook page. So again, you go to the RD Allen Facebook page there, and uh, find the fixed version of the uh, John Deere 6000 sprayer. Of course, uh, credit goes to the original mod author for the original model. Uh, overall, I would say the original mod author did a fairly decent job. Uh, compared to some of the other mods I fixed, where I can't necessarily say that everyone, uh, the mod author for the 6000 did. Pretty good, I would say. Just uh, some minor stuff and a uh, rather large file size itself that had to be fixed. And then we also, you know, fixed the lights like the lights weren't working at all before. I'm not sure why, if Mod Author actually intended it that way. I, I don't know. Don't know everyone, but uh, the lights do work now. File size is now significantly smaller, at least within reason anyway. It's still probably a little over the top, everyone, as far as, like, uh, the quality of the model goes. Uh, but without spending a significant amount of time trying to reduce it, uh, yeah, it'd just be a lot of work at that point. Uh, Joe is asking, will you be making available the corrected fixed version of the International Tractor? Meaning the one with the light bar malfunction? Uh, I am not the one doing the edit on that. That is Bailey. And I believe he said he would be releasing it once he's done with it. Uh, I believe he just gave me the version he's working on a little bit early here. I don't believe he's quite actually done uh, doing whatever he's going to all do to it yet. Because, again, that mod is, uh, like a lot of mods, everyone, in need of serious help from the sounds of it. So... And looks like I maybe got one more load of bales, in which case I'll probably put those in storage here. But I'm hoping uh, I can just put them in the shed we have. And I don't know if that will count as seasons safe or not, but uh, we'll give it a try. Wow, we got $192,000. $192,000 just from selling straw bales. Oh, this reminds me, everyone. This reminds me of a certain series we did at the end of Farming Simulator 17. Yes. Uh, we were playing with a Seasons mod, and we did uh, it was Welker Farms. 
Uh, we made a lot of money on that series as well, selling straw bales. Uh, straw bales, well, bales in general seem to be somewhat profitable with the Seasons mod. Two bales, is that all that's left? I thought there was more on here. Oh, yeah, there's a couple there, too. Okay. Get, like, four bales or five, however many is left here. That'd be perfect number. That's still, like, 100,000 liters of straw, which, yeah, we arguably don't even need that much. Because, again, everyone, cows, I don't plan on giving them straw. Uh, the only reason, to my understanding, to give them straw is if you want manure, which I do not want. So, uh, if anything, everyone, I'd prefer to have the slurry because we, uh, we can use that. Either that, I'm going to have to get a manure spreader, which... Uh, it seems like everyone's slurry goes a lot further as far as, like, actual, you know, fertilizer-type application goes. So, that's why I usually use that. Not to mention there's usually wider spreading options available for the slurry. Yeah, I should really plant some grass over that there as well. Just get rid of that. Oh, yes, and everyone, this is our uh, silver our silver gleaner head. Goes very well with the gleaner, if you ask me, in that color. Apparently, it loses its paint. Completely loses its paint. Wow. Oh, well. Seems to be a common theme. Oh, you know what? I need to go the other way if I want these up against the wall, don't I? Okay, yep, let's back this around. Try to get these right up against the wall here, I was thinking. Not sure how far out this auto load position goes, but uh, let's find out here. See if we go that way. Oh, it doesn't actually show the bales moving over. Actually, you know what? I think it does if I push. Yeah, there we go. Now it'll move the bales over. Okay, cool. You start the unload process, and then you can move them over. Uh, it goes for, ooh, we can go backwards, too. That might be good. Yeah, let's put them right next to them seed bags there. I like that. We'll just uh, drop them right there, I think. Boom. And then this is the reason everyone why it only goes to the right. That way, when you want, when you have to bring it back to the trailer, everyone, you can just go all the way, and that's where it'll stop. And then same thing towards the front as well. So that's why it's set up that way. We'll just, uh, like I said, leave those bales there. We'll call that good. We'll return this truck. We might want to get it again here in the future, but at least for now, it has served us well. Stop. Uh, least items. Yeah, just uh, return that for now. Cool. Like some of that worked out really nicely picking up those bales. We made some money off that. <laughs> nice to see that. Okay, so let's uh, see once here. Can I put uh, fertilizer on this uh, field yet or not? I don't know if it'll let me do that. Let's let's find out here. I don't know why why it's not fertilized, gentlemen. It should be fertilized. Two levels. I'm not sure why it's not. Uh, where is my sprayer? Did I put that back in here? Yes, it did. There it is. Okay. This is what the uh, wear on the sprayer looks like, by the way. It's about what it looked like before. Uh, there wasn't much difference. This is just, again, a generic dirt wear texture on it, which is the uh, same thing the mod author had before, everyone, except he had uh, a separate dirt wear texture. That were all the same for each and every single material on here. So I was like, wow. A little bit overkill. Let's just uh, combine those all up so it's not all the same one now. Okay, liquid fertilizer. Yeah, that'll work. First waypoint drive course. I don't know if it'll let me fertilize or not. I'm hoping it will. It hasn't had a growth cycle yet, but there's been a day in between. It will. Okay, and that is... Well, let's let them get a little ways here first, and I'll double-check the map, make sure that's actually working. Uh, it is. Okay. And I'm still confused, everyone, as to why sometimes, like with this field here, everyone, we're apparently going to have to put three levels of fertilizer on this field from the looks of it. Whereas, you know, some of these other fields, like, just put, you know, put one level, planted it, and we had all three levels just like that. So this field here looks like it's, because this is not the dark blue yet. We're going to have to put fertilizer on that field again. So, yeah, that's kind of annoying. Also, why are your lights on? Let's shut your lights off. We don't need lights on. Get out the terraforming tool here, and we could get out the field deleter. That might arguably be a little bit cheaper. This is a little bit quicker, though, if you ask me. And we'll see once how much it's going to cost. If it's going to be, like, a lot of money here, then maybe I'll get the field deleter out. Because, again, like I said, that will be cheaper. And we want grass. That's the grass one right there from the looks of it.
Oh yeah, that's I don't think that's even cost us anything, is it everyone? I don't think so. And we'll just go across there. Kind of round that corner out. Looks good to me. Delete that as well. That's why it's just uh, straight across there. Now that it really matters, but... And let me, uh, let me bump this size down a little bit, and we'll round this out. I'm not sure, everyone, if I'm going to do anything with this field or not. I uh, haven't fully decided. I mean, it, it's still arguably a field yet, but you know what we're going to do here? This course play does not like this. Bump that down, and we're just going to run this along this edge here. Try not to delete too many of the bushes along the edge, if I can help it. Does add a little bit of character to the map, if you ask me. Just gonna run this along the fence row, and uh, yeah, of course, by a little bit extra space here, because of course, it does keep crashing into that fence, especially along right there. That at least that's along there where it was having the problems before. Okay, I think that should be pretty good. Yeah, I think that'll work. Remember, everyone, this actually uh, has already been uh, modified slightly. This particular field had this little jog in it right here, which already got rid of that. So, yeah, we've been uh, we've been modifying our fields slightly. Speaking of fields, so I'll just get rid of this one, too, while we're at it. Like I said, everyone, it doesn't look like this is costing us a whole lot of money. And once you actually start uh, moving terrain around, yes, that will cost you some money. But just painting here looks like at least the grass in a way, not. Works for me. Oh, while we're here, did I ever... Uh, I never got grass on this, did I? I should fix that as well, shouldn't I? Back when I terraformed this here, everyone, uh, I did not have the map fix in yet for doing grass. So when I terraformed, it just put the texture down and actually put the grass back. So let me run this over real quick here. Put our grass back, because it just adds a little something to the map, if you ask me, everyone, where it actually gets grass rather than just being, you know, just a flat, plain, boring texture. I don't actually mind that so much in front of the building here. It actually looks kind of good, and, you know, gives it a mode look. Whereas around here, uh, yeah, we, we'll just put the grass back. Okay, there we go. Got a little grass coming up in the cracks in the cement there, right? Takes care of that uh, pile of fertilizer there. I was wondering what to do with that. I'll just delete it. Works for me. Okay, I think that'll work anywhere else that needs to be fixed. Oh, looks like right here. Okay, so on that note, then, we can uh, plant this field in grass. Need to get a little lime on this section. Probably put some fertilizer down as well. Don't know that it needs to be uh, cultivated so much. I could probably leave that the way it is. But at least we'll get some lime on that little bit that we plowed there. And I don't plan to do anything with these fields here yet, everyone. I'll probably maybe, we'll see, it's maybe like some winter wheat or something. Where, when can we start planting winter wheat? Winter wheat here. Oh, canola. We can actually start planting some winter canola here pretty quick. Okay, so wheat, barley, oats. We can plant all oats, really? Winter oats, huh? Hmm, okay. I know, like, winter wheat. I, I can't say myself. I've never ever heard of winter oats. But, okay. Uh, canola. Yeah, we can plant all that stuff. Uh, grass. Okay, yep, we can still plant grass. Yeah, yeah grass, everyone, you can pretty much plant any time. Grass is, yeah, whenever. Anyway, on that note, everyone, looking at the timer, looks like it is time to wrap it up here for this episode. So on that note, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching, and until next time.